Kyle had a massive gunshot wound to his, I can't remember which leg, ankle, ankle area, lower ankle area, I think. Um, I was able to grab him and take him back to where I was, where I previously was, which is the, the baseball area, which they have a clubhouse, in which there was a, one of our coaches and a parent that was actually in the clubhouse. Um, we have a, a first aid kit in the clubhouse, so I was able to go ahead and, and bandage that, do a compression bandage the best that I could with what we had, um, and then we handed him off, and he immediately, fire department was outside the door of the thing, of the, uh, the clubhouse, um, immediately handed it off to them, and they took they took control of um, Kyle. Kyle gave me a tremendous description of what was going on, um, what the shooter was wearing, um, all that type of stuff of, of what actually was going on in the building, what building was he was in, and I was able to relay that to our dispatch. He was spot on. He was spot on with the information he gave us. For me, I, what bothers me is I wish I had gotten there sooner and to stop this. So for me, you know, I'm glad that I could help just one kid, and I think that's for everybody here, you know, the SWAT medics that were there, the regular medics, the, you know, just, yeah, I, I helped one kid, or two kids, and that was, you know, I, I wish I could have helped them all. It, it, it was like just a flow of, of kids coming out, you know, I, every time I turned around there was another officer with blood all over him, so it was horrendous.